Hi, I'm Carly Easby and I'm studying for a PhD on hedgehog ecology in farmland landscapes. Because it's been shown that there's, there's a decline in the hedgehogs with a quarter of the population lost in the last 10 years. So this is very worrying and the statistics also indicate that the decline is worse in rural areas and studies have shown that arable land's particularly unfavourable. So that's why we're focusing on these arable areas. So what are we, what are we doing uh, in, in, the, in the darkness here in, uh, in Norfolk? So I've got some hedgehogs radio tagged in the area and using the radio tracking equipment we can follow them and then see which habitats they're using, see how big their home ranges are and therefore be able to work out how we might be able to improve the habitat for them. And do you think we've got a good chance of finding any tonight? Well I swerved round one in the village in the car on the way here, <laughs> right. it's definitely about. <laughs> Should I it. see what sex it is first? Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Oh. So this is, is this one of your marked hedgehogs then, Carly? Yes, it is. This is a male that I found earlier on in the season. So as you can see, he's got his radio tag with the reflective strip on, so it's easier to find him. And a red marker. And they can move freely with, with those tags on? Yeah, so they weigh only 10 grams. So for them it's just having like having a light backpack on and they can curl up fully and everything. These free in pencil. Oh, okay. Scrawled on the bottom. Cyril. Mm -hmm. Arietti and Christmas. Hug was originally found about half a mile, half a kilometre down the road in the middle of an arable field. But now it's got a bit colder, he seems to have moved into the village. So here's 945 grams. Luckily a lot of the people in local villages have been really helpful and really interested and hedgehogs seem very popular. Mm-hmm. <laughs>